welcome to another feature of Tubamp Theta. Tonight, we're going to talk about the difference between a 5U4 versus the famous 5AR4 tube. Which is best for your application? Let's see. Terry here, D-Lab. Question of the day. 5U4 or 5AR4? That is the question. Now I'm going to show you the answers. Here we go. Here we have an amplifier running a pair of 6L6s and a 5U4 rectifier. We'll flip him on. Let's watch the plate voltage. See it go up there. Now it's just coming down because the tubes are starting to pull current. We'll see what it settles out at. So as you can see, approximately, we'll just call it 440 volts. It's idling, everything's happy. So let's swap in the 5AR4 now, see how it acts. 5AR4 is installed. Pinouts are the same, so no damage done there. And I'm gonna flip around. Here we go. Take it a second to warm up. Keep watching that meter. Hopefully my tube isn't bad, huh? Oh wait, here it goes. Here she comes. All right. Coming on up. And you can see she's overshooting the 5U4. And we're settling down at about 460 volts. Maybe a little in the high 450s, but anyway, as you can see, the 5AR4 has less of a voltage drop than the 5U4. If you want to change out an amplifier that runs a 5U4 rectifier with a 5AR4, here's the things you got to consider. Number one, the voltage rating of your filter caps. Most filter caps are around 450 these days. So if you have a 5U4 in your amp, and it's hovering around 440, like this one was, and you jam in a 5AR4, guess what? You're gonna exceed the value of your filter caps. Kaboom! All right, so let's turn this around. Let's say you have a 5AR4 rectifier, or GZ34, okay guys, in your amp. And you say, well, I want a 5U4 in there because it's cool, it's bigger, it's hotter. Well, it is. Problem is, is it pulls 3 amps of current versus your 5AR4 which draws 1.9 amps. So there is a possibility that you could pull too much heater current from your transformer and damage it. Another thing I gotta point out, bias. Most amps have variable bias, so it's really not a big deal. However, if you're running an amp that runs a 5U4 and you have cathode bias, meaning a resistor to ground off the cathode of your output tubes, and you put in a 5AR4, the current through those tubes is going to increase. And guess what? You can't change it. It's going to eat your output tubes. So on the bright side, if you do have a amplifier that has a bias adjustment, you can compensate for the voltage loss or gain depending on which tube you use. So you can get a better sag element out of a 5U4 since it has a larger voltage drop which is around 45 volts versus a 5AR4 which has about a 10 volt loss. So between the two you can play with sag and grit. So that's a plus. One word of warning, don't pull those tubes out and put in diodes. You hear about guys doing it all the time. It's devastating to a tube amp. They put those tubes in for a reason, guys, okay? And you're also gonna lose all that cool sag and grit that you get from a tube with a diode. They're stiff, there's no voltage loss across them, and they produce a current surge. There's a natural cushion to a rectifier tube that you're gonna lose. There is another tube out there that will drop into that same socket, pinouts are the same, which is the 5Y3. Don't use it, okay? 5Y3 is good for like radios and little fender champs, but they can't handle the current 
of a pair of 6L6s. You're just going to blow it up. Don't waste your time. If you want to try a 5AR4 versus the 5U4 or the other way around, it can generate some problems. I've seen amps blow up because guys put in a 5AR4 and the filter caps and the other circuitry was right on the edge. So use caution, have fun with the hobby. Hey, is that a tube on my shoulder or are you just happy to see me? So as you can see, there are some factors to take into consideration when you're swapping that 5U4 for 5AR4 or vice versa. So I hope this was good information for you. It was good for me. We'll see you again on Tube Amp Theta.